What's up, YouTube? We got three new star powers coming to Brawl Stars this Wednesday. Mortis, Leon, and Darrow. I'm going to go over these star powers and tell you how good they're really going to be. I'll give you a hint. One of them is going to be really freaking good. One of them's going to be kind of trash, and one of them's a bit of a question mark. Let's go through it. <laughs> All right, let's start out with Daryl. Daryl's new star power, Rolling Reload, is whenever he supers, he automatically reloads to full ammo. All three shots. Says he reloads three ammo instantly, but if you have one ammo, if you have two ammo, it only goes to three. It doesn't give you an extra whatever based on whatever you have. Although, honestly, that might make this star power a lot more useful because this star power is, in my opinion, putting the phrase, Daryl is a trash can on wheels, into something even more appropriate, because this star power, it is trash. Let me explain. First things first, why don't we show off this star power and exactly how it works. Here you can see, this is probably gonna be the best case example of this star power. You can get, as soon as you reload, or as soon as you roll, you get that full reload. And uh, yeah, against in this case, it is actually pretty dang good. So why is the star power trash? Well, let's think about how you play Daryl. Majority of the time you play Daryl, of course that super auto charges. Once you have that super, you find a target that you have a good matchup against and you turn Daryl from a trash can on wheels into a rolling assassin by rolling on them and getting that kill. Now, the thing is, is once you roll with this star power, instead of getting that 30% damage reduction, you reload all the way to full ammo. Now, how many times are you actually using those shots before you roll on someone? It's not that often. The only time that ever happens if you're in a close range melee fight with someone who has a lot of health, because you gotta use all three of those shots and you gotta be able to use even more and roll. A lot of those times without that shield, Daryl probably will get crushed because he he's not a very consistent damage dealer and that shield gives him a big health benefit. Now, like say you're facing a Frank, that's a perfect example of using it, but honestly, Daryl should crush Frank no matter which star power he has. The real problem with this star power is it just doesn't work with how you play Daryl. You want to use Daryl as more of a surprise, assassin sort of brawler where you roll on someone and get that kill, but you almost never are effectively using your shots before that roll. Even if you are potentially shooting someone, it's probably not that great. Daryl's range is so short, Actually getting good value out of the shots and then rolling and getting even more value shots is just a very rare occasion. So the star power really doesn't get much use. And that shield reduction, look, a lot of people say Daryl is a horrible brawler and part of that is because without a star power, he really is. And without that shield reduction, he's not gonna feel very fun. With all that in mind, here is Daryl's star power review. I put both star powers in a tier for every single game mode. And that's just the star power in a tier. That's not Daryl in a tier for that mode. That's just how helpful it is to have that star power regardless of how good that brawler actually is in that game mode. And you can see Steel Hoops is so, so needed for Daryl. It's just so important. It makes him so much better. Now, I will say there are a couple specific uses that Rolling Reload could be actually a good star power in. The main example is Daryl with Poco. You can use that Poco heal sort of as a replacement for the damage reduction you might get otherwise, and then you can maybe allow Daryl to really utilize the extra damage he should be getting with those extra shots. And in this case, he'll be hopefully staying alive long enough to actually utilize that. And I actually think this could be an actually good tactic in Brawl Ball. Daryl and Poco together is a generally good combination for Brawl Ball. Anyways, you go in this regard, you can probably get one or two kills with this. Roll four, be aggressive going up the map, get that heal, get the kill as well, make it easy for you to score that goal. I do think that could be good. Now, some people might think in Heist, okay, if I get on the safe, I do three shots and then I roll, do another three shots, that's a lot of damage. You're right. How often is that gonna happen? Probably almost never. It's really gonna be pretty rare. Now maybe you can go ahead and slightly get your super and charge past people and then you have full ammo on the safe. And that actually is not that bad. That's why I have it at least a C tier. I just don't... Either way, I don't think it's better than the damage reduction in a lot of different modes. The one place I will think the best case scenario for the star power is in boss fight where if you have someone tank for Daryl, 
you can potentially have Daryl just keep on rolling on the boss, just recharging his super on the boss and then getting full ammo again. And he can keep on doing that over and over and over, potentially doing a ton of damage in boss. Next up is Mortis. Mortis' new star power, Coiled Snake, allows him to dash twice as far as a normal dash with that dash bar charge. That dash bar is exactly like BB's. A uh, home run bar where when Mortis is at full ammo that bar starts charging and only when he is at full ammo Now this is kind of a big deal for Mortis because his reload is actually pretty slow So it actually can take him a long time to go from all the way using all of his attacks and then finally charging up that coiled snake Just something to keep in mind now here it is in action and when you actually use this uh, aiming bar, you can actually see exactly how far you can dash. Thank God, it would be not that useful if you couldn't tell. So there you can see it is kind of crazy. But, um, and then look, it just takes a long time to charge up again. So if you are ever in need, dire need of escaping from a situation, your best bet is not to wait for the Coiled Snake to charge. You really should just be using normal attacks to try and escape. Coiled Snake is going to be more useful when you're sort of laying in wait for someone. Now here's my star power review for Mortis and both of his star powers. And by golly, both of these star powers seem like they should be actually really good. Creepy Harvest is one of the best star powers in the game, his other star power. So telling you which star power is better, I'm honestly not sure. And I think this is the big question mark star power because it is a little high skill cap as far as how you would use it. All of a sudden, Mortis is a much less tanky brawler without the healing star power. 1400 health after a kill is a ton. Mortis always takes a lot of damage whenever he fights. So having that big heal can be really important to allow you to not have to respawn to help you keep map control but you should be able to get some more surprise assassinations with Coiled Snake. And potentially you should be able to hit two people more often as well with one attack, which I do think is gonna be a big deal. And I do think you will see more double kills in general with Mortis because he can hit two people with Coiled Snake and he can hit two people with his super. So potentially he could combo a lot of overall damage and that could be a way that Mortis is an even better assassin, even if he doesn't have that huge, huge healing that he normally gets from his other star power. Now, the only mode where I think it's a clear-cut winner as far as which star power is better, besides ticketed events, is really going to be solo shutdown. I think you always want to go with Coiled Snake in that case because you're not that often going to be getting that many kills, and having that extra dash just makes a lot more sense for surviving. You're not extra dash, but that extra long dash is going to be pretty big in solo showdown as far as just running around. You were afraid of more steal Mortis stealing your power cubes before? Guess what? It's going to be a lot easier for him now because he's going to come out of nowhere to steal that power cube. Though, of course, it still doesn't help Mortis with others stealing his power cubes when he's farming boxes. Yeah, thanks, let's do it. Now I think this star power is gonna take some adjusting to getting used to as far as how you use it. Because it is, I mean, having a dash twice as long does definitely take some getting used to as far as aiming it. And not only that, but your follow-up attacks afterwards because there's a lot of different combinations. And also sometimes you can dash too far away from someone and all of a sudden they're not in the range you wanted them to be because it does actually go really far for Mortis. So that can definitely be a big deal. All of a sudden your target can actually get out of range if they were kind of right next to you when you used it. I think this is star power that pros are gonna find really, really useful and they will take advantage of it pretty quickly. But if you're not a great Mortis player, I'd probably just go with his other star power, Creepy Harvest, because it is really, really good and it doesn't take any skill at all to use, obviously. And now for Leon with his new star power, Invisi Heal, which is whenever he supers, he heals up for 600 health per second as long as his super is still active so as soon as you start attacking you no longer are healing so over seven seconds which is how long the super lasts he can total 4200 uh healing and that's basically a full bar of health for leon which is insane so leon think of leon with double the health well not exactly but that's kind of what it feels like 
I mean, potential case scenario. Look, let's just show it in action. I seriously think this is going to be one of the best star powers in the game, potentially as strong as Band-Aid. That's seriously how strong Invisi-Heal is going to be. Now, his other star power is not that bad, right? It makes him a lot faster whenever he supers, making it a lot easier for him to assassinate people. But what this star power is going to do is it's going to allow Leon to super right away as soon as he gets a super, heal up, he's still invisible, and he can get in position to then, now full health, charge up his super again by getting another kill or getting close to another kill. This is gonna allow Leon to chain supers. This is seriously gonna be a really good star power because it's a ton of healing. So no matter where you are, once you get your super, if you're in a position where you could use a little bit of healing, then you should just go ahead and use it, go invisible, get to full health, and get in position to get it right back, or if not right back, at least, you know, pretty close. But basically, this allows Leon to always be near full health whenever he's engaging in any fight with his super. And honestly, this is still a really good super, even if people know where you are. Even if you're escaping, they know where you are, you still get really good healing, so it's still really valued. Now, the one example where his other star power is definitely better is of course when you are already at full health and you are super. In that case, this star power is not helpful at all and you would of course rather have that much faster move speed, which makes it a lot easier to flank people in his now somewhat short seven second super. All right, it's not that short, but it was 10 seconds. So I guess compared to that, it is. And here's a star power review for Leon and you can tell, I think it's gonna be pretty good. But honestly, there was a brawler to target as far as what brawler you wanna get the star power for. Leon is a great example of one. You can't really go wrong with either star power. They're both pretty good at minimum. But uh, Invisi Heal is going to be amazing. If you like this, check out my star power review for Pam, where I break down both of her star powers in depth in every single game of for which one is better and which one you should really be going after. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Do hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you later.